Before Meghan met Prince Harry, she had many hobbies and interests that occupied her time, and she hasn't given most of them up since becoming the Duchess of Sussex. The couple are getting ready to welcome their first bundle of joy, and we're willing to bet he or she will have more than a few similarities to Mama Meghan, from her yogic practices, her love for furry friends and taste in food. And perhaps a certain watch. Her engraved watch. Back in 2015, before she'd even met her future husband, Prince Harry, Meghan revealed to Hello! Canada that she owns a Cartier tank for Anse's watch with a special backstory that she's ready to pass on to a daughter. When I found out Suits had been picked up for our third season, which, at the time, felt like such a milestone, I totally splurged and bought the two-tone version of the watch, she said of the timepiece, which starts at 5,500 Canadian dollars. I had it engraved on the back, to MM from MM and I plan to give it to my daughter one day. That's what makes pieces special, the connection you have to them. Her appreciation for self-care. Taking care of her body and mind is something Megan holds dear to her heart, and as such she tries her best to live a holistic life. A well-known lover of yoga. She gets hers in like nature from mom Doria Ragland, who is a yoga instructor. I started doing mommy and me yoga with her when I was seven, she told Best Health. I was very resistant as a kid. But she said, Flower, you will find your practice, just give it time. In college, I started doing it more regularly. Turns out, baby Sussex is already doing his or her own mommy and me yoga classes, prenatal. Just after announcing their pregnancy while on royal tour in October 2018, Megan revealed that she'd been getting up at 4.30 a.m. to get some yoga time in. On top of staying fit with yoga. Megan frequented conditioning gym Catalyst Health while filming suits in Toronto, and regularly jogged. She also focused on caring for her mental health. On her former blog The Tig, she often wrote of the importance of me time, of making travel a priority, decluttering and, of course, being open to change. There's no denying that baby Sussex is going to be one healthy kid, inside and out. Her love for food before she was linked to Prince Harry and her Instagram account was shuttered, Meghan's love for food was hard to miss. A fan of green juice, avocado toast, slow-cooked Sunday dinners and banana bread, she really has a palate for any kind of food. One of her favorite meals is a Filipino-style chicken adobo, she told Today. I am a big fan of Sunday suppers. Whether we're eating lamb tagine, pot roast or a hearty soup. The idea of gathering for a hearty meal with friends and family on a Sunday makes me feel comforted, she said. She's said in the past to best health that she tries to eat vegan during the week, with a little more flexibility on the weekends, perhaps including the chicken dinner she made just before Prince Harry proposed. Sharing a plate of fries with friends is a must, and a nice glass of wine was never out of the question. Most recently, she invited her makeup artist friend Daniel Martin over for some avocado toast. Her love for animals Duchess Meghan may love her dogs even more than she loves her favorite foods. When she hopped across the pond to join her husband in London, she could sadly only take Guy with her, leaving Bogart behind with friends. According to the Daily Mail, the couple added a second dog to their clan to keep Guy company. But her love for animals doesn't stop with her own canine companions. When her first four patronages were announced on January 10, it was revealed that one would focus on animal welfare, the Mayhew Animal Home, a charity that makes sure rescued dogs and puppies get placed in a forever home. An appreciation for the arts The 37-year-old's love for the arts runs deeper than her acting career. She attended a production of Hamilton with Prince Harry not once but twice, and she became a patron of the National Theatre after a secret meeting last year. The Duchess is a strong believer in using the arts to bring people from different backgrounds and communities together, said the palace. There's no doubt that her and Prince Harry's mutual love for the arts will be passed down to their first child, and perhaps Meghan will even teach him or her a thing or two about calligraphy.